Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan, bringing you all the headlines that you need to know for Tuesday, September 11th. Except really, there's not that many headlines today, so it's mostly just celebrity stuff, but it's still going to be wicked entertaining, so shh. All that and more, right here on your Guys in Speed Round. I just spit. I have a green shirt on under this gray sweatshirt, and it'll look like I have a brick hole on me if it peeks out. Let's not judge. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This pink eye thing really getting me down. It's it's double pink eye. I've got a double headache, and I've been self-medicating. That's that's happening. These two fat cats were able to survive for a month after their owner died without any access to food just because they're so fat. Even after cops found them, they still weighed twice as much as a normal cat is supposed to. I'd be willing to bet the woman holding them is somewhat of a pussy expert. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds got married in a surprise ceremony on Sunday night. As a wedding gift to the two of you, I would like to extend an offer for us to engage in a threesome. Why is it okay to ask people to your military ball? But that would be seen as inappropriate. A mother in Utah was caught on camera potty training her two daughters in the middle of a restaurant. Hey, the sooner those girls can learn to pee in front of a bunch of people in a dining establishment, the easier college will be. A man in Ohio rented a billboard and displayed a photo of his wife, all of her qualifications for a job, in the headline, Please Hire My Wife. Also known as, Get This Broad the Fuck Out of My House. China's Shaanxi province recently held a beauty pageant for cows. 200 different cows from 11 different farms competed. Here in America, that's called the biggest loser. Brad Pitt said in an interview that he doesn't feel safe without keeping a gun in his house. And you wouldn't either if you had to sleep next to that. News for bitches. The women of the talk kicked off their third season yesterday with a groundbreaking episode where none of the hosts wore any makeup. And then they proceeded to spend the entire show talking about how none of them were wearing any makeup. Which I assume was supposed to prove their point that men make women live up to these ridiculous beauty standards and wear makeup. But instead proved mine that we're the only ones who care and we look better with it. So stop bitching. I'm sure if men could get away with wearing makeup every day, they would love to. Right? Just look at that dude from Roseanne. Oh. Rihanna got a new tattoo in honor of her grandma. It's a picture of the goddess Isis on her chest. Because when I look at this picture, I just think of the love between a grandmother and her granddaughter. And tits. A 30-year-old man in New Brunswick has been sentenced to 10 months in jail for sneaking up behind women sunbathing in the park and ejaculating into their hair. Oh, wah, this guy jizzed all on my head. It's a recession, ladies. Hair gel is expensive. Look what that did for Cameron Diaz's career. Hey, here's a picture of what John Hamm's penis looks like inside of his pants. John Ham, more like John Sausage, dude's a regular dong draper. This is the one foot six inch polia condensata plant, which has been named the most colorful fruit known to science. I guess science isn't familiar with Elton John. And that's gonna do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't laughed, there'll be a link in the description to a video that will make you do so. Hope your Tuesday is better than mine, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know.